Aloha and welcome to Paradise Hawaiian Style. Hey, right behind me is our London stoplight. Look how cool it is. And heavy. No computers, no blinking. Just on and off. <laughs> and it still works. It's actually really cool. It's from London. It's from the 1940s. Let me get a side shot of it. There you go. Kind of cool, huh? Kind of neat. Anyways, I thought I'd sit here and uh, share something that maybe you missed last time you were in here. Today, I thought what we could do is hit the road and take a little adventure. Head on over to the Ilakai Hotel. Now, the Ilakai has been around for a long time. So, all sorts of celebrities and people, including Elvis, have stayed there before. So, I thought we'd take a little trip and check out some stuff there and see their history wall and then also explore different parts of the hotel. Then, if you're lucky, we'll do a little driving tour through Waikiki. Isn't that fun? It was a beautiful day, nice way to see what's happening on the Strip, some of the most valuable real estate in Hawaii, Kalakaua Boulevard, beach, hotels, shops, all kinds of stuff. And then, we'll drive around Diamond Head and uh, see what's going on up there. All right? So, I thought that might be kind of a fun adventure for us today. So, let's get right to it. Thanks for joining us on Paradise Hawaiian Style. with the blue railings. Busy, busy, busy. New 5.0, old 5.0, all shot right here. The Ilakai. Had lunch at the Ilakai, which has got a fantastic history. All the famous people that have stayed here. The Ilakai has been around for a long, long time. Actually, I remember it because there's a Madonna photo shoot done from here. But these are some of the illustrious guests that stayed here. And of course, you know that the opening sequence of Hawaii Five-0 with Jack Lord was filmed right from the top balcony. Oh, Lucy stayed here too. And the Fonz. And of course, Elvis was known to stay here as well. Jim Neighbors, John Wayne, fantastic stuff. Here's the Ilakai through the years. Some great photos of the old place that's been redone many times. There's Elvis getting off the helicopter in the opening sequence of the Aloha concert. He gets out of the uh, helicopter right on the helipad in front of the Ilakai. Or at least that's my understanding. There's Elvis and Priscilla right around the area of the fountain there. And the opening sequence of, of uh, Gilligan's Island is also filmed right outside there. Now there's a lot of people that actually live here and there's also a lot of vacation rentals that are in this building. And the vacation rentals can either be run by yourself, an outside organization or what have you, or they can be part of the hotel pool. So I think you can really run the gamut of some of them being remodeled and fantastic and some of them a little dated in need of repair. But it's a little slice of old Hawaii there, at least 1970s Hawaii. Here's the Ilakai under construction. Back in 1963, Jiminy Crickets. Lots of glare, still super cool. Here it is, I guess almost completed in 1963 as well. I can't tell you how many episodes of Hawaii Five-0, the 1970s and the 2000 versions were filmed here as well as Magnum P.I. Not so much the new Magnum, but definitely the old Magnum. And then of course there was this other show called Hawaiian Eye with Cheryl Ladd of Charlie's Angels fame. They shot some stuff here too. That's where we had lunch today, up at the top of the Ilakai there. We're in that elevator. That was probably one of the best parts of the thing was riding up and down in that elevator. Top of the Ilakai, beautiful views. Numerous TV shows, beginning in Hawaii Five-0, pool views. Fabulous glass elevator ride. Let's see what's happening on those lanais, also known as patios. 
the Alawai Yacht Harbor, where the opening sequence of Gilligan's Island was partially filmed when they go are outing on their one-hour tour. The modern hotel used to be part of the Ilikai. More shots of people's, but they dry their clothes out there. Crazy, huh? Blows away. And here we come down to the bottom ground floor to explore more of the Ilikai Hotel. The beautiful marina. The Hilton Lagoon. The walkway down there. Madonna's famous photo shoot. Maybe I'll try to find a picture. It's literally on this railing. I remember seeing pictures of uh, Shannon Dowdery and Tori Spelling hanging out on the railing here back in the 90210 days. This tower here used to be part of the Ilikai and then they sold it off years ago. It's had a couple of different owners over the years and now it's a hotel called The Modern. It's actually quite nice, a little fancier than the Ilikai. And it's more of a hotel as opposed to a hotel and vacation rental kind of place. Great pool area and hotels and stuff. We're in The Modern now. Not sure what this restaurant is called now, but it used to be famous Morimoto's restaurant which was on Hawaii Five-0. I did a couple guest spots there. So this is a crossway between buildings, actually between the parking garage, which was another tower of the Ilakai that they sold off. It's now the parking garage. Lots of stuff filmed here. As a matter of fact, there's a Hawaii Five-0 episode where Jack Lord walked across a little railing in between apartments there. This is Ina Road. Super dated bridge. Starting our driving tour of Waikiki. This is all part of the Hilton, but it's all coming down real soon because they're going to build another tower and all of these shops will be gone. It's the back end of the Hilton. So we start to turn the corner here to see the spectacular front entrance of the Hilton with the fantastic waterfall lagoon areas with the hiko dancers largest hotel in waikiki it's really a full campus of several towers vacation rentals timeshares and hotel as the date that we're making this video actually all um, all the hotel workers are striking so this is right where they're walking the picket line, right here in the front entrance of the Hilton Hawaiian Village. Hopefully they'll get everything resolved real soon. More new towers of the Hilton Hawaiian Village. And this is the Fort DeRussi Park. A little bit of green space in between some hotels. Fort DeRussi, old military base, the middle of Waikiki. Can walk through there, nice picnic spot, access to the beach. Kind of up here is a small military museum. I often recommend people go to this museum if they can't make it out to Pearl Harbor. Although Pearl Harbor is our number one visitor attraction, lots to see there from museums, the Arizona Memorial, Missouri Battleship, Submarines, Aircraft Museum. But if you can't make it out there, Here's a smaller museum right here at Fort DeRussi Park. This building here on the left, you see under construction during um, a couple scenes in Blue Hawaii where Elvis is out at the beach talking to the girls, learning, teaching them how to surf. That hotel is the one that's under construction um, during the filming of those scenes from Blue Hawaii. Now it's an outrigger hotel. There's so many outriggers. Turn the corner here, a new construction hotel. Interesting tidbit, had to be renamed. I'll leave it there, but now it's got a nice Hawaiian name to it. No other references. <laughs> Driving down Saratoga here, some old apartment buildings and old two-story hotels. It's looked the same way as they did back in the 1960s. <laughs> Coming up here, eggs and things, some other restaurants. We're about to hit Kalakaua Avenue, the Rodeo Drive of the Pacific. That's the two Ritz-Carlton Towers. Pretty fab. 
We need to turn on to world famous Kalakaua Avenue. I said Boulevard earlier, but I really meant Avenue. Old Hard Rock Cafe there. This building's been there a long time. There used to be a Planet Hollywood, believe it or not, right there on the second floor. Now it's a Bank of Hawaii and a Long's Drugs. <laughs> kind of fun when it's Planet Hollywood, if anybody remembers though. Bruce Willis, Demi Moore, they were all here in the 90s when that opened. Kind of crazy. Luxury Row, all the fancy shops line Kalakaua Avenue. Find the same stuff at Rodeo Drive in, in Beverly Hills. You can find it here on Kalakaua as well. But lots more palm trees, beautiful setting here. Blue skies, can't get enough of that. This is just the right side of the street or the ocean side. Maybe sometime we'll do the left side of the street. That's the main entrance there and you go back through there to the Royal Hawaiian Hotel, the Pink Hotel, as a lot of people know it. One of the first of two hotels on Waikiki Beach. Um, we'll see the second one in a minute here. Coming up on Cheesecake Factory, do you know that this is the busiest cheesecake factory in the whole country? A little bit too busy for me. There's another cheesecake factory on the other side of the island that I choose to go to when I do go there. Uh, there's no wait there. Here we are coming up to the Moana Hotel, the Grand Lady of the Pacific, they call her. Oh, quick view of the Hyatt Regency Hotels. That's actually right where the old Rock Island Cafe used to be. And here we are at the Moana. One of the two hotels again with the Royal Hawaiian. Both own Sheraton properties now. That's part of the Moana there. They're talking about building a new tower there, but they've been talking about that for a long time. Ocean erosion has caused some problems. The water is right up to the hotel now, so I don't know if they're going to be able to build a 40-foot tower there at all. <clears throat> There's a Duke Kahanamoku statue and the world-famous Waikiki Beach, one of the best places in the world to learn how to surf. The breakwater there is real nice, good-sized waves to learn how to surf. Banyan tree, gorgeous, huge banyan tree there. Here we come. These little gazebos on the beach are now like little cafes and bike rentals and surf uh, surfboard rentals. Um, they used to have tables and chairs there and you could play checkers and stuff like that, but unfortunately got overrun by homeless. And so now they close it up at night and they've um, sort of rented them out for people to use um, for businesses. So. Great little waterfalls and pieces here, Waikiki Beach. I can't remember what that statue was. Maybe I'll find out later and tell you. Hmm. Gosh, every day looks like this in Hawaii. I should put this video out in the winter so people can really appreciate Hawaii and they can come see us. Coming up to an area, you can see the framework where they do the screenings on the beach. They still have it up here and occasionally they'll show a movie on the beach. But years ago they used to have uh, episodes, of premiere episodes of Hawaii Five-0 and Magna P.I. right there. You can see the framework of the screen. Um, it was kind of like a red carpet. It was Hollywood in Hawaii. All the actors and actresses and producers would come out and they'd watch the first episode of Hawaii Five-0. did that just about every season and so did Magna P.I the newer versions of those two shows, of course. And it was a great way to sort of see the whole, all the actors and actors. Queens Beach, Ironwood Trees. Beautiful. Some more beach erosion here. If you walk down on the, the shoreline there, it's taken out some of the walkways, but they're, they're rebuilding them back a little bit. Beautiful trees, great places to walk the dog, have a picnic, enjoy beautiful Hawaii. There's Diamond Head peeking out on the left there behind the trees. And Kapi'olani Park, tennis courts there, coming up on the aquarium. There's the aquarium, not huge aquarium, but great. Good, nice, lots of tropical fish and turtles and stuff, a lot of Hawaiian things in there, great place to visit. They do a little luau there now as well. So that's kind of one of the 
luau's in town that's easier to get to the natatorium world war one memorial you can kind of see the archway there was a salt water swimming pool really just the facade is there now i know they're trying to raise money to rebuild that it's um can't really access it anymore it's too dangerous but it's it, you can see it in some old tv shows it's really fantastic coming up here on some low low level hotels not low level but low rise not as tall as should say as some of the other ones some super nice hotels because um, some realtors call this the gold coast of hawaii uh, some expensive real estate here and uh, some fancy hotels and restaurants outrigger canoe club is out here magnum did a lot of shooting there whenever he was playing volleyball it was always at the outrigger and that is right here to the right uh, i don't think we see it too well and now we're about to turn and go around diamond head a lot of houses on the historical registry here some beautiful old homes um, as we go around diamond head crater Another great little walk. There's some fun beach access we'll see further up the road here. Um, two little beach parks. They used to be homes, but they were donated, I guess, to the city is my understanding, and they're made into parks. Um, no parking, so you have to walk, and so this is a little bit of the walk you take to get to the parks. Here's one of them right here. Great little park. Used to be a house. Now it's a little beach park. Access to the beach there. Some other fancy, fancy um, homes, real world on MTV. Their beach house was right here. A bunch of the kids lived there, if anybody remembers that. Further back than that, there was a branch of the Townsend Agency right along this um, street here. One of these houses was the uh, Honolulu Waikiki branch of the Townsend Agency. And the Townsend Agency, is, of course, is where Charlie's Angels were. There's another one of the little um, beach parks on the slopes of Diamond Head. That's the old driveway from the old house that used to be there. Kind of cool. Those little pergolas that are with the, or were part of the house uh, as well were like their, um, their patio or their lanai. So here we go driving around Diamond Head. All you see really are fences and stuff, but there's some fantastic houses and stuff there. Pretty soon we'll break free of the houses and get to see um, we're going uphill right now. Oh, first we come uh, are coming up to the lighthouse, uh, the Diamond Head Lighthouse, which of course is part of the opening uh, sequence of Blue Hawaii when Miley is going to go pick up Elvis at the airport. Uh, she's driving past the lighthouse and then in a blink of an eye, she's at Ala Moana Beach Park. Sort of the magic of uh, movies there. She goes from one place to another in a blink of an eye. But um, you can see the ocean peeking through the trees there. Driving up Diamond Head. And where's that lighthouse? Ah, and there's the lighthouse. <laughs> a lot of the surfers park up along here and then climb down the slopes of Diamond Head. There's a path. Easier going down than it is going up, of course. But lots of great surfing and windsurfing, wind sailing right out here um, you can see the break there a lot of people come up here to um, do whale watching as well um, certain times of the year people come up here to count the whales so that they can see um, the numbers of the whales that are coming and that's um, all recorded to um, know our whale activity a couple times when we had some tsunami scares people would come up here and hang out at the top of diamond head not the top but the slopes of diamond head to see if anything uh, could be seen because there was some safety up here being a little higher up but of course nothing really happened there was no tsunamis thank you thank goodness great views of the pacific ocean and this uh, the beach and the break breaking surf about to leave diamond head now and continue on around the slopes behind these houses are some of the places where uh, Carol Burnett had a house, 
Jim Neighbors had a house for many, many years behind here in the streets, behind this front row of houses or some other streets with um, some access to some fabulous diamond head houses. There's another famous house back there called the Shangri-La, which is now a museum. Um, it was Doris Duke's old house. Um, I think she was considered the poor little rich girl, if I remember correctly, from the tour I did many years ago. Um, Islamic looking house with Islamic architecture, really beautiful. Uh, Honolulu Academy of Arts or Honolulu Museum of Arts as it's known now, does tours there. And it's definitely worth seeing. It's uh, the great view and stuff of, um, on the slopes of Diamond Head. Great house that they were taking a lot of effort to restore. It's behind the streets behind these houses here. Whenever they have a Honolulu Marathon, this is part of the route that the runners take. Great distractions um, and quite a long run for the Honolulu Marathon, but this is part of their route. And we're going to turn left and leave the slopes of Diamond Head. We'll still be on the slopes of Diamond Head, but we're starting to go inland a little bit more. And this is known as Triangle Park here, which is another war memorial park. Great little spot there to hang out and relax on the slopes of Diamond Head. We're about to enter the uh, part of Diamond Head that's part of the military base. Um, you can kind of see the military outpost right there, the, what's left of it. That was one of the entrances to the old military base. And here's some of the, mu um, the buildings from the military base that have been turned into, this is the Department of Defense here. Um, when they were filming the new Hawaii Five-O, they often used this as um, the police headquarters, or at least the front of it. They never went inside, but they used that walkway and that building there as the um, police headquarters. And the reason they did that is because the Honolulu Film Studios are just down the street from here. Some of the first film studios in the islands were all the old movies from, um, all the old TV shows from um, Magna P.I., Baywatch, the original 5.0 were shot at the sound stages on this uh, studios. Now, they still use these sound stages and studios, uh, but they built a couple more of them because um, it's really outgrown the space and there's some bigger spaces um, out in Couple A, I believe. So. That's still part of the Department of Defense facilities there. We're looking at uh, the East Honolulu there. Um, this is part of the slopes of Diamond Head away from the ocean on the other side. You can see the houses creeping up the slopes of, uh, of Honolulu there. More and more houses going up the sides of the hills. That's a great little dog park right there. And behind it is the, the film studios. It's off to the left there. And once we cross this street here, you'll see um, the start of Kapiolani Community College is coming up, as well as the bus stop for catching the bus back after you uh, go uh, up Diamond Head. Half of the hike of Diamond Head, which is a fantastic hike, is uh, getting into Diamond Head Crater. You have to walk halfway around Diamond Head Crater and through Diamond Head Crater to get to the base of the hike. So take that into account when you decide to climb Diamond Head. Or you could take the bus partway and then walk the rest. Um, but it is definitely worth it. Leaving the part of the military installation, um, and you'll see one of the uh, guard towers who saw the, the one on the other end of Diamond Head, and we're about to see the other one as we leave that portion of um, Diamond Head. And that, those buildings off to the left there, that's Waikiki and Honolulu, as opposed to East Honolulu that we were looking at before. You know this is an old part of town because if you look closely at the curbs, the curbs are, oh, there's the, uh, the post, uh, the guard post leaving that. But anyways, the curbs, um, were coral. Now you can see in newer parts of town the curbs are concrete like they are here but back when we were on the military base you could see that the curbs were actually coral blocks. Kind of gives you an indication as to how old a neighborhood is um, when you when you look at that. Still on the slopes of Diamond Head some of the newer houses or newer developments here. 
Beautiful blue skies. This is part of the walk that you would take to get into Diamond Head Crater when you're going to go and take the hike up the crater. Diamond Head Grill, see the tour buses there? Diamond Head Grills, great spot for plate lunch. Some fun shops and cafes and coffee shops here. This is the neighborhood known as uh, Kapuhulu now. Lots of uh, houses and stuff in this neighborhood. As we're leaving the Diamond Head area, we're going to pass um, Queen Kapiolani Gardens. Those are coming up there as we um, finish going around Diamond Head Crater. There's Queen Kapiolani Gardens. Some beautiful trees and stuff in there. There's certain times of the year when some of these trees are just gorgeous. So many yellow flowers. That tree in particular there is like a huge canopy of yellow at the right time of year, of course. We're heading up along to the side of the zoo. Here, we're going to make a right turn and go down a street called Paki. And it's a tree-lined street. Um, part of the path that led from Iolani Palace to Kapiolani Park. Um, trees on both sides, did a beautiful canopy uh, for the royalty of Hawaii to come from Iolani Palace to Kapiolani Park where there's a bandstand and they used to play polo. Um, and this is part of that route as it originally looked with the, uh, the trees on both sides. Beautiful. I don't know if you can see there, but there's a giraffe right on the left. You can see his head pointing up on the side there. That's part of uh, the zoo. And we're about to finish going around Diamond Head. Beautiful parts of Hawaii. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Hope you had a good time exploring the Ilakai Hotel and driving around Waikiki. Lots of cool stuff out there. Waikiki really is paradise, and it's a wonderful place to be, and I'm glad to share some of it with you. So, thanks for joining us. Remember, if you liked what you saw, please like us down below and follow us and tell your friends. If you like this kind of fun content, join us, and I'll make some more videos. Let me know some ideas. I'm open. So, hope you had a good time, and I'll see you real soon. Aloha!